What's going on guys, Quinn Giles here, and I'm going to be teaching you guys how to change your rear wheel cylinder in a 2001 to 2005 Civic. Now wait a minute, don't click away just yet. This is pretty much going to be the exact same for any vehicle with rear drum brakes. So, before I get started, if you already know the tools you need and you don't want to hear why you need to change a rear wheel cylinder or what happened in my car, look down in the description below. I will provide times, so if you want to get right to the process of how to take this thing off, because I babble on a little bit in the beginning here, you can click the time in the description and it'll take you right to how to install this part. So, first of all, I'm going to start off with the tools that you need, and second of all, I'm just going to explain why you may need to change your rear wheel cylinder, and what exactly happened to my rear wheel cylinder, because it was a little weird kind of story what happened to mine. So, let's get started here. What you're going to need is a rear wheel cylinder. You can pick that up at a parts store, and you're going to need a socket. I have a 12 millimeter on there right now. That's going to be to help to get the drum, uh, the brake drum off, which I'm going to go over later. And you're going to need some needle, no needle nose pliers, and you're going to need the correct socket size to get your wheel off. For this Civic, should be 19 millimeters. So, let's get started. I'm going to tell you guys what happened now. And I'm sorry, guys. There's a couple tools I'm missing, but please check the description below for a nice detailed uh, list of all the tools you need. This is the rear wheel cylinder. This is where you bleed it from, right where my thumb is here. Got a black cap on it. And right here, you've got a yellow cap on it. This is where your brake line screws into. So a lot of people, when they have a brake fluid leak and the pedal just hits the floor, it's usually from, well not usually, it can be from a lot of different things, but sometimes you'll see the brake fluid leaking around the wheel and it's because this little bastard here, the uh, rear wheel cylinder, is leaking usually from this area here. But it really can be from anywhere. It could be rusted out or whatever. So make sure all your fitments are tight, first of all. But um, yeah, these things can rust out and wear out, so that's one reason why you might need to replace them. But for me, it was a little bit different. Let me explain right quick. Again, I'm going to leave times in the description if you don't want to hear me tell you what happened to my car, and you can skip right ahead to when I start, you know, taking everything off and how to do put this thing in. So the part of the brake line right before it goes into your uh, wheel cylinder there, it goes in this, it's a little black shape like this, it looks sort of like a horseshoe. And it's covered by this like plastic or like rubber coating, as you can see there's no rust on it. But water gets trapped underneath, and it can rust the shoot out of it. And on the very right side there, where the rubber or plastic, whatever, whatever it is, is uh, worn away, there's a hole in the brake line. You can't really see it, but it's right next to that nut there on the right. And, um, yeah, it was leaking. It was spraying out like a squirt gun. So, my pedal right to the floor, that's why I knew, I knew it was a brake line problem right away. But um, the reason that you need to change the wheel cylinder, because that nut on the very right, that 10 millimeter nut was seized on there, because my car's rusty as hell. So, if you look right to the right of the nut, you can just barely see in the sliver of the picture at the end there, that, that little, like, what the nut goes into there, and what the line threads into, that little tiny piece, kind of looks like a bigger nut, but it's not a nut, is what the line threads into, and that's the wheel cylinder and that is inside the uh, brake and that's what we're going to be changing today and as I was taking it off the damn thing cracked so I've got my vice grips on the nut here but I, no matter what I do I just can't get it off so I'm going to try to hit it with a little sludge hammer and uh, that's just something I'd recommend doing if you can't get it off so I'm going to give a couple whacks at that and I'll let you know how it goes the only shitty thing that happened here and I hope to god this doesn't cause any problems that this is where the old brake line went into here I know it's very hard to see because it's dark and I'm ruining all my light and when I was hitting that loose with a sledgehammer, it was just so rusty that the thing snapped. You can see it's part of it's right down there. Those are my threads, so I'm hoping that that's not going to cause any problems because there's still some threads in the inside there that you can't see. I hope to God that's going to be enough because, shit, it broke easy. So yeah, the nut was seized on, and then all of a sudden when I tried to get it off, this part here, about the right half, just cracked right off on me. So I can't screw in another brake line because, yeah, this is broken in and there's just not enough thread left to hold in a brake line. And even there was a tiny bit of thread left that can hold it in, there's tons of pressure behind these brake lines, which is why it's dangerous to use certain metals for them. So that's why I'm getting a brand spanking new one. And like I said, it wasn't going to thread in anyways. So yeah, this one here, obviously, it's not broken, and I can screw a brake line right into there. And that's the only reason i got to change it. It's a pain in the ass. But yeah, you can pick these things up. I picked it up at a local parts store. They even had them in stock. It was about 20 bucks. Before I tell you how to get these things off, if you didn't already know, I totally forgot something. Um, you gotta make sure all your brakes are off. I was trying to get it off and my handbrake was still on and the friggin' thing wasn't coming off when I was screwing the bolt in. But, uh, yeah, anyways. I got the piece off now, but, uh, back to trying to get it off. Now, it's gonna be tough on this car because my car is very rusty and I'm sure it's seized on here. So what we're gonna start by doing is we're gonna take a hammer. 
And I got another one here just in case. And we're gonna whack here. And here. And here. And here. To see if we can get it off. And maybe I'll make a separate YouTube video on how to get these things off. Especially if I struggle a lot. Don't hit up here. Don't hit up here. You can rat check by doing that. And don't hit here. And don't hit here. Just here. 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 And here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera down and do that. And I'll let you know how it goes. So, the hammer didn't work. Obviously, that'd be too easy. That's just the way it always is. So, I got a 12 millimeter bolt off the car. Put that in here. And that should, uh, that should fit. And put a 12 millimeter bolt in here as well. And you just tighten it and you pull this apart. I hear it can cause little problems. I don't know why it's there because that's what it's there for. But I, just a YouTube channel I watched. They said that you got to be careful doing that. But this should pull it off. So, I'm going to give that a try and see how it works. And it looks like we got some separation there. So we're just going to keep cranking this thing in here. And again, we're going to try to just keep twisting this until the other side pops out. So just keep twisting and the brake jump should come separated. And then you should be able to pull it right up. So I lost the footage of me taking off the drum cover there, but it's very simple. When you start screwing uh, those 12 meter, 12 millimeter bolts in, it will just separate the drum. No problem. You'll just hear a little clunk and then you just pull it off. Very, very easy. So this right here is a wheel cylinder that you want to change and there is two 10 millimeter bolts holding it on and the brake line. I'll show you a little view on the back here. So we want to take this off here, which I already loosened a little bit, 10 millimeter bolt. And we have this 10 millimeter bolt here holding this on, but obviously mine cracked as you can see. So that's why we need to change it. So um, undo your brake line that goes in there and get a 10 millimeter socket and put it on here and just twist those off and please, hope to God they don't strip. And to take off your rear wheel cylinder, we have both of the 10 millimeter bolts off and the brake line disconnected now. All you gotta do is squeeze in on these pistons. I thought you were gonna have to take off this spring here to remove, uh, take the pressure off these, but you actually don't. All you gotta do is squeeze in this piston and this piston. Give her a little wiggle. It's a little tough to do here with one hand and out she goes. I'm sorry about the camera view there. I'm just using one hand and using my knee as a support. So yeah, there we go. That is out. As you can see, that is where she cracked on me. What a bitch, eh? So um, we're going to go take the uh, new one now and put her in and screw it in. So again, here is our old one on the right. And here is our new one on the left. As you can see, this isn't cracked here, so it's perfect. And this one is. So again, let's go ahead and put her in and connect everything back up. Also, if you want to spray some brake cleaner in here, you can go on ahead. So we're just going to go ahead and put this back in here. It's very straightforward. Just make sure these are up and down so they're going to fit right on the end right here on each side. And we're just, all we're going to do, all we're going to need to do is push these two pistons in and we're going to put it right through the hole here and then we should be all good to go. So we're going to put this right in here. Make sure no dirt gets in the end because that's what's going to go into your brakes. You don't want to have dirty brake fluid going through this wheel cylinder. And there, that doesn't even take a lot of force. You just put that right in there like that and make sure your uh, holes are lined up there so you can screw in those 10 millimeter bolts again. There we go. Sorry if that camera view was shaky again. I'm balancing this thing on my knee. There we go, now our new wheel cylinder is in. Now all you gotta do, I just screw them in my hand, is tighten up with your 10 millimeter bolt and then put your brake line on. Um, the only thing that's sort of tough about that is that this 10 millimeter bolt on this side is really easy. But this one here is right behind it, so it's a little difficult to get it in with your own hands. And because, you know, it's really hard to get on a straight line, you, you might it's easy to cross-thread it. So just make sure you're not cross-threading it. Both of them should screw in all the way to the bottom with ease. And all you have to do is, all you have to use the 10 millimeter wrench for is tighten it with your hands. Shouldn't have to tighten them. Shouldn't need to use a wrench or anything until you get right to the bottom. Just a little bit. It's really dark. It still gets dark here. A little early in Canada. Not as early as before, but let me finish off this video by saying... Now they got the two 10 millimeter bolts screwed in tight. You're just going to take a brake line, and I do not uh, have my part right now. Uh, that is coming in tomorrow. Um, this, the parts store didn't have one. So this is a brake line that I tried to bend myself, and I kinked it, and I got mad, and I just fo folded it into a bunch of shapes. All you're going to do for the last thing is you're going to take this, make sure there's no dirt in it on each end, on this, end, this here and on your brake line, and you're just going to use a 10 millimeter bolt and screw that in nice and tight so you don't have any leaks and make sure it's there nice and good, and then you're all done. I'm going to have a separate video on how to attach the brake line, but um, for now, that is how you replace your rear wheel cylinder. All you're going to do now for the last bit is you're going to take... 
your uh, the end of your, the cover on your drum brake, and you're just gonna put it back on. Yeah, I got a little bit of snow on it there, but all you're gonna do for your last bit is you're just gonna put the cover of your drum brake on, and then you're all done. All right, so that's pretty much it for this video. If it helped you, please comment down below and um, let me know if it helped. And um, if there's something that I did wrong or something you didn't like, comment down below and give me some criticism. Um, and like the video if you liked it. And um, if you want to see more stuff, more easy how-to videos or more reviews or just, you know, more stuff of my dirty old Civic, um, please subscribe and you can see all the stuff that I come up with. Also, I have two other YouTube channels. One I hardly even touch. It's just uh, just my normal channel that I do. Um, I have had some song covers on there and stuff and I'm just going to, uh, you know, maybe put some more vlogs in there and stuff. I'll put that in the description below. And I have another one that I'm going to, uh, well, that I already have quite a bit of videos out on and not too much, but about as much as this channel. That's on Anna anime and stuff, I review anime and things that I like about anime, review Dragon Ball stuff, and uh, yeah, that'll be in the description below. So I really hope you like this video. If you take on this project, I hope you have a, an, is as easy a time doing it as I did because I thought it was really easy. So that's it for this video. Take her easy and have a fantastic day. Take her easy, guys. Oh, fuck.